We have to have power. We all rely on it. As fossil fuels begin to taper their way out, we better have a replacement. Having worked in a power plant, I've watched coal mines start shutting down, businesses started closing up, families started moving out. I don't have to explain what that does to the economy. My great-grandparents on both sides were farmers, and probably beyond that, it's in our blood. I was interested in the idea of regenerative farming. So much of our land is depleted. It's all the big challenge. In a couple of months, we'll be starting construction here in this location for the El Dorado Solar Project. Whether you have eight acres, 500 or 1,000 acres, there's an opportunity for you to be able to participate. I actually got to be here at Prairie Creek for the moment that the substation closed in and we started getting power. That was really cool to see this go from nothing to something that will power homes and, and schools and communities here. We want to know what really works for the communities where we're building projects and, and do that in the best way that we can. What we're hoping to see is a really healthy native grass and wildflower community. I hope that it's buzzing with the sound of bees. Probably a third of our total farm ground is gone to solar. We're very excited about using sheep to maintain the vegetation. Sol was very enthusiastic. And I had all this research and all these reasons and they were like, no, nah, we don't need that. We're, we're on board. One thing that I love about working for Seoul is, is just the willingness to innovate and the willingness to take some risks. We are not just thinking about the panels and, and the energy that we're generating, but also preserving the health of the soil that we're building on. One person at the zoning meeting got up and said, this will be great for the ground because we're depleting our soil. And in 25, 30 years, when they decommission, the soil will be much better. I've been able to help move this county up to where it has now a new vision, a new direction, and a new opportunity. I look at my grandkids and what renewable energy is going to mean to them over the next 100 years. The more of this that becomes, the more independent the state can become the more independent that the country can become.